Hi, and welcome back. In this lecture, we'll be talking about the TPAC model, or the Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge Model, or what I like to call becoming a triple teaching threat. By the end of this lecture, I'd like you to be able to recall the major tenets of the TPAC model, and also be able to recall and classify examples of curriculum, pedagogy, and technology. And eventually, because this is the goal of this course, is for you to be able to apply the TPAC model to design a lesson plan. So let's have a look at what this the whole triple threat is. So in the theatre world, a triple threat is someone who can sing, dance and act. So you can see some great examples there. So Hugh Jackman obviously can sing, dance and act. Jamie Foxx is an amazing pianist. And we've got two amazing singers over there with Barbara Streisand and also Bette Midler. So in the theatre world, if you can do all those three things, you're considered the complete entertainer. In the teaching world, we will consider you to be a triple threat if you know your material, know how to teach it, and know the tools to, to do that. Okay? So let's go all the way back to the beginning of the TPAC model, even before it was the TPAC model. So it all started with this guy here, Lee Shulman, in 1996, when he produced his paper on pedagogical content knowledge. So the figure here uh, represents the old way of thinking, that within teaching, to be a good teacher, all you needed to know was your content and also your pedagogy. But there really was an understanding of how those two things actually linked together. What Lee Shulman brought to the table was, well, actually, to be an effective teacher, you need to be operating within that over, overlapping section of the Venn diagram, that you need to know um, the content, but then also be able to pair that with an appropriate strategy to teach that content. Okay? And so that was what's called pedagogical content knowledge. Now, fast forward to this century, and you've got these two guys, Misha and Kohler, who came along and said, yeah, that's okay. okay? where you've got, you've got content knowledge and pedagogical knowledge, and at the intersection of those is the ability to know how to pair content with the right pedagogy. But there are, all, there are a whole range of tools, both modern and traditional, that teachers use to do this. And the old way of thinking here was that that technology sat outside of that, that core understanding of uh, content and pedagogy. The innovation of these two guys was to say, well, actually, to be a proper, to be a fully rounded teacher, you actually need to know your, the, the content that you have to teach, how to teach it, how you're going to group students together, how are you going to assess, how you, are you going to, uh, which learning tools are you going to select for your students, and also the technology. Okay? So whether that's modern technology, like um, cloud-based technology uh, with OneDrive and Google Drive, or chalk and uh, chalkboard, it doesn't really matter. W what matters most is that you select the right tool to be able to achieve your learning objectives. Okay? So this is how we understand the TPAC model here. Now, I'm not going to go uh, much more into the TPAC model and what the model actually entails, because that's your job. What I want you to do is to look at your assigned reading, um, which is Mishra, it's either 2003 or 2006, I can't quite remember, but to do the reading and to jot down notes. Anything that you don't understand, that's when you can, uh, that's, that's when you come and ask me uh, those questions to clarify those particular issues. Okay? So, another activity I'd like you to do after summarising uh, Mishra and Kohler's paper is to actually start this table and continue it throughout the course. What I'd like you to do in this activity is to list the content, pedagogy and assessment that you are currently aware of. Okay? So don't cheat, don't go and Google um, ANSI because that's not the point of this. What I want to do is for you to see how much you currently understand. If that's nothing, that's fine. Some of you may have been introduced some, to some pedagogical strategies from last year. Um, from assessment or from content, that is the material that I'd like you to go into this table and we're going to add to this over the course. So, 
You should be able to, after completing all the activities associated with the TPAC model, you should be able to recall the major tenets of the TPAC model as according to Mischer and Kohler. And I also want you to be able to recall and classify examples of curriculum pedagogy and assessment because eventually my goal for you is to be able to plan a lesson and keeping in mind the TPAC model.